My name is Anita and I wanted to provide instructions for uh, recording and producing videos for the Case Med Clinical Primer Project. This is very easy to do. All the software and equipment you need is located in one place and it's all free. All you need is um, the ability to walk down to the Kelvin Smith Library and a couple of hours to make your video. The first thing you want to do is find the Kelvin Smith Library. Uh, the library is the main undergraduate library of Case Western Reserve University and it's located at the corner of Euclid and Adelbert, as you can see here. Um, pretty easy to get to from the med school. The med school is around here. You can just walk down Cornell or Adelbert and get there. And all you need to bring with you is your case ID. Uh, once you get to the library, you'll need to show your case ID to get admittance. And then go to the central kiosk where um, there's a little bank of computers um, sort of on a high table. And you can use your case ID to check out a couple of pieces of equipment that you'll need for the recordings. The first piece of equipment you need is the Wacom tablet. And uh, what comes in this pouch? Pouch is a, a drawing tablet, a stylus, uh, a little holder for your pen, and a mouse. And you'll pretty much just be using the, the tablet and the stylus, but these all get checked out together. The other piece of equipment that you're going to need is one of these USB headsets. Now both of these things plug in um, to the USB port of the computer and you can check these out for two nights. You can leave the library with them, so if for some reason you're able to find Camtasia um, like be able to have it at home, you can check these out, take the equipment home and record the videos uh, on your own time at your leisure, which is really great. So once you get these two pieces of equipment, you want to make your way to the Friedman Center, which is located at uh, the back left corner of uh, the main floor of the Kelvin Smith Library. Show your case ID to the person at the desk and then make your way to the computers at the back right corner of the Friedman Center. If you don't know which ones those are, just ask the person uh, where the computers with Camtasia are and they'll be able to show you where it is. Once you get there, uh, you want to get on the computer and open up the start menu and find the Camtasia recorder right here. Click on the Camtasia recorder and you'll find that this panel opens up. And uh, this is the recording panel for Camtasia. And you can see a recording button here. You can see uh, settings for controlling how much of the screen you're going to be recording here, and then audio control here. So the first thing you want to do is set your screen settings. Now, uh, 1024 by 768 is optimal for recording for YouTube videos. And we're going to be producing these to YouTube. So you want to set the parameters for that. And it creates a window about this size that you see here. Um, a little bit of it is cut off. Now the nice thing is, is you can enlarge this screen, um, this frame, and it'll stay in the proportion that you need for YouTube, but it'll be able to record more of the screen. So you can go ahead and play with that. It'll show a different um, set of uh, uh, pixel measurements, um, but it's still the same proportion that you need. You want to make sure the audio is set to the correct one, so click on this arrow and make sure it's set to the USB um, headset that you've plugged in and make sure that this dial is turned up at least halfway and that it's recording your voice. You'll see this little green bar go up and down as you're talking um, if you want to make sure that the microphone's working. After that, uh, you want to open up uh, Paint or your PowerPoint or whatever you're going to use to make your recording. That'll show up in the background. And the nice thing is, is you know, you can click on the recorder, set all these parameters, but you can also play around with what you're doing in Paint, upload some pictures ahead of time, practice a few times, whatever you need to do to get ready. Now you're ready to record. So all you need to do is press the record button and you'll see instructions that say F10 to pause your video and then a countdown and then there will be a clock here that will start counting up. Uh, here's that clock that you can see here. So I made a mock drawing in paint then I'm trying to show something and this clock will be counting up showing you how long your recording is. Um, you'll see the green bar going up and down showing that you're recording audio and then you'll see um, these here so that you can pause or stop your recording at any time. F10 will also pause your recording in case you need to collect your thoughts before continuing. Um, again see here these green um, frame marks show you what exactly on the screen you're recording. So if you don't want to get this stuff in here or if you don't want to show the bottom toolbar just make sure that the frame frame marks are within just the square that you want to record. Uh, if you want to um, stop your recording, if you're done, you can just press the stop button. And when you do that, once you're done with your recording, um, you want to press the stop button. And once you do that, you'll see a preview screen pops up. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's right here. 
So you see, this is exactly what was recorded from my paint drawing. And then the, your recording will start playing, and it's basically going to show you exactly what you did. All the movement on the screen, as well as your voice, whatever you said during the recording. And then there's options to either save and edit your recording, or to delete your recording. Um, if you're not happy with the recording, just delete it, and then you can re-record the whole thing without a problem. If you're ready to save your project, just say save. Um, and uh, save your first and last name and whatever number recording it is. So I would say Anita Sidhu 1, and then it's going to be a Camrec file, dot C-A-M-R-E-C, and save that to the appropriate file. Um, uh, for the Freeman Center deletes their files every 30 days to save space, so you probably want to save this either to a flash drive or to an external hard drive and take it with you just to make sure that you don't lose the file. Now once you've made your Camrec file, you're ready to edit that. So if you go back to your Start menu and click on Camtasia Studio, you can open up your Camrec file in here, and you can see a previous recording from another student is in here, and drag that down to this toolbar down here to open up the entire file. The video file will show up here, and the audio file will show up here. Now you can play around with whatever you want. I tend to play around with the audio just to maximize um, the type of voice that I'm working with, as well as fading in and out the track just to make it a little bit more pleasing, um, and then taking out any bits where uh, the person might have messed up or gotten lost, but um, if you're happy with how the recording is, that's basically all you need to do in terms of editing. Just make sure that all the files are there, the voice and the visual recording. Once you're done with that, you're ready to produce to YouTube. So you go to File and drop down menu, and you want to say Produce and Share. Once you click on Produce and Share, this window will come up, uh, Production Wizard, and you want to share to YouTube. Now, I'm not going to provide the information here, but the login is Case Clinical Primer, Case Med Clinical Primer, rather, and I provided the password if you have access to that site, and you can just produce your YouTube to that site to add to our growing compendium of educational videos for uh, incoming clinical med students. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please email me if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very much.